Now we are going to move to the next uh, presentation. This is going to be done by Vasela Karluskova, Karlus, Kar, Karlukoska, 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 I think that now I said, um, okay. She works in DigiConnect also, and she works in the unit that is called Stakeholders. Basically, we in DigiConnect, we realized a couple of years ago that we were interacting with a very reduced number of common suspects, a large industry and others, a a member states, public service, and our intention has been to enlarge the channels that we have to interact with a broader uh, representatives of society. And therefore, I think that this is also important to know for you the mechanisms that we have to interact with these new stakeholders and how you can also use these uh, mechanisms. Okay. Um, so, good morning, everybody. Um, I apologize, I have a slight cold, so uh, my, voice, um, <clears throat> my voice is not quite right today. Um, I'm, going, I'm going to ask you, before I tell you about what we do on stakeholders, uh, to uh, make uh, two distinctions. Uh, the first distinction is uh, between uh, the concept of stakeholders and the concept of uh, citizens slash uh, the public. Um, in uh, DG Connect uh, and uh, in the Commission, uh, we, are, we are drawing this distinction uh, because we realize that our main interlocutors are organized interests rather than citizens and individuals. Um, organized interests are very well inserted into the institutional policy making process, whilst individuals and citizens. Um, are either uh, considered to be represented by their uh, members of uh, uh, the European Parliament or uh, uh, there are non-governmental organizations uh, which uh, claim to also represent uh, uh, citizens. Um, so um, the second distinction that I would like you to, uh, to make is the, um, diff the distinction between engagement and communication. Uh, these are indeed uh, two very different concepts. Uh, we uh, decided to, uh, to draw the line uh, because we realized that for, uh, for uh, probably uh, two decades now, the Commission has been uh, communicating while in many instances it has claimed that it has actually engaged citizens in the policy making process. Um, this, has not, this is not entirely, uh, uh, entirely the case. Uh, we have redefined engagement in DG Connect in particular. We have redefined engagement as the process through which individuals, uh, through which organized interests, stakeholders, uh, or uh, um, uh, individuals can actually take part in the uh, uh, policy making process. Uh, taking part in the policy making process means working on policy content, uh, expressing opinions, uh, sending in uh, evidence, uh, relevant data, um, and uh, uh, positions on uh, very specific uh, uh, policy, uh, policy issues. Um, so in um, uh, what, uh, what uh, DG Connect has done, it's the only DG in the Commission, just to give you an example, that actually has a stakeholders unit. And this is not a small detail. Um, the organizations need to be seen as living organisms. So the way they are structured and the way their hierarchy uh, is, uh, is structured uh, matters. So in most Commission DGs, stakeholder issues uh, you will probably not find citizen issues, but stakeholder issues are uh, dealt with by the communications unit. So this still shows that in terms of organizational development, the organization is not yet making the distinction between engagement and communication. There's still a lot, a lot to do. Um, well, uh, DG Connect has made this distinction in terms of uh, in terms of its uh, of its structure. So we're a very new unit, and uh, we have practi practically started our uh, our work from scratch in setting up a new, a fresher approach to uh, to engagement, which is based on transparency 
Transparency doesn't mean throwing more information at people and designing better websites. Transparency means, in our definition, giving trans shedding light on the policy-making process. What is happening when, who is participating, how authentic that organization is. Unfortunately, we are still forced to speak primarily about organizations rather than individuals because the policy process is such that it's expert-based. Citizens are not experts. Citizens can only express a given kind of knowledge which is based on values, on exper experiential uh, uh, knowledge, which differs from the uh, kind of knowledge that the, that, uh, that the system, that the political system nowadays prefers. Um, our other principle is authenticity. We would like to engage on policy for real, in a sense that this is not just a procedure. This is a process which matters to us. We would like your input. We would like your input for real, and we will tell you what we are going to do with your input. Um, we would like, indeed, as Jesus already mentioned, we realize that we are speaking to, um, to a large number of uh, organized interests. Uh, we are not reaching at most of them are clustered at European level, so it's a, it's a kind of uh, pyramid of interests which uh, culminates in uh, Brussels-based organizations. This is fine. We have to speak to these organizations, but we, need, we feel that we are, not, we are not hearing, we're not listening to all the voices that exist out there, and we want to create a process that allows, uh, uh, allows that. Pesela, we yes. are close to... Hey, press the mic again. Yes, press the mic, please. And finally, responsiveness, we would like to tell people what it is that we have done with their input by giving them the right kind of uh, uh, feedback. So, uh, thank you very much, and I'll take your questions later, if any. Thank you, Pesela.